Our movie begins with a photographer and his pregnant wife in the city of Haiti. It's a beautiful and romantic place. But since the wife is pregnant, she decided to go to hotel for rest. As soon as she lay down to sleep, she felt something moving. It looked like an earthquake. The husband rushed to the hotel to rescue his wife and baby. But it seems that his luck is against him. The hotel appears to be partially collapsed. Nevertheless, he ran a risk and went in to look for her. He found her lying on the ground. He called her and she answered him saying, protect her, save her. At the hospital, while he's with his lifelong companion, the doctor comes to inform him that his wife is seriously injured and any action he takes will endanger the baby's life, which means that neither of them can be saved. The Exorcist Believer 2023 Here we see this girl looking at this woman's photos. He called her Angela. While they were outside, he noticed that she was wearing a scarf and inquired, to whom does it belong? She told him that it was her mother's scarf. When they got to the middle school, he informed her that she could come home at dinner time. They went into the forest once the study session was over, with strange girls. By nightfall, they began to perform necromancy rituals in a humorous manner. At Victor's house, while he was checking some of the photos he had taken, the lights dimmed and then came back on. When he looked at the picture, he found it had been distorted. That's strange. When he arrived home, he looked for Angela but didn't find her. He called the principal and informed her that is Angela's father and is in search of her. She told him that Catherine had told her that they were going to Deshanna's house, in Tony's house. We find that the parents called the principal to ask about their daughter Catherine. The principal told them that she saw them entering the forest. The parents went to the forest to find their daughter. Victor checked the sewer and found his daughter's shoes there. The police arrived but found nothing. On one of the nearby farms, someone found two girls. Upon arriving at the hospital, Victor found his daughter was doing well. But strangely enough, she asked him if she had been absent for a few hours. What a strange thing. What the girls remember is they were walking and found themselves on the farm. After the examination was over, the doctor informed them that there were no signs of physical or sexual abuse or mental issues. They just got lost and found themselves on that farm. Even so, Catherine's behavior seems weird. At home, Angela told her father about what happened in the forest and that she tried to reach out to her mother. She lit the candle and then began to say what the spirit taught her. She tried to reach her mother. Gosh! She asked him to leave her alone. It seems that things aren't going well. In the morning, while her father was looking for her to have breakfast, she beat him. Then she had an epileptic seizure. So she was taken to the hospital immediately. In the church, while the father was preaching to the audience, Catherine entered walking strangely and began to scream and say, Body in the blood! Body in the blood! Then she was immediately taken to the hospital. At night, when the doctor came to examine Angela, everything became very scary. She began to speak in a man's voice, and the blood was staining her clothes. What a misfortune! The doctor came to Victor the next day to talk about the matter and gave him a book about similar cases. But it seems that he lacks belief in these spiritual things. She said that when she was little, she was going to become a nun. But before she recited her vows, she became pregnant and failed to keep the fetus, thus breaking her promise to the Lord. And before entering the monastery, she had to change her name, which she didn't disclose to anyone. Neither ignore the story of her pregnancy. It turns out that Angela, his daughter, has complete knowledge of her. And this is all purely spiritual. He was perplexed and began to turn over all the papers, looking for something that could aid him in understanding his daughter's condition. He went straight to the author of the book, an old woman who has spent a lifetime researching such cases. Upon arrival at the hospital, Angela's condition appears suspicious and bad. Oddly enough, she seems to be familiar with her. She asked him about Catherine and he told her she was at their house. When they got home, they found Catherine. The old woman told him, you know who I am. And I know who you are. On Catherine.
Catherine's lips. The demon asked if she was looking for her daughter Regan. She replied to him and said, I came here to give life back to this child, whom it's been taken from her involuntarily. He attacked her and stabbed her eyes. What a cunning demon. After visiting her in the hospital, she gave him advice that might be useful in treating the two girls who were under demonic possession, which is the use of people to overcome the demon. He contacted an African witch, who is knowledgeable about demonic possession and how to deal with it. They prepared everything for the exorcism process. Now, they have to take the two girls to that place. Things never bode well. After starting the exorcism process, the demon spoke and said, One of you will die tonight. Things go worse. However, it appears that the situation has stabilized. The woman wet Catherine with holy water and she threw up something like a lump of clump blood. Now, they are trying to exorcise them from their bodies. Gosh, what is all this? But according to this woman, there is still more to come. When Victor sat next to his daughter, she said to him in the voice of the demon, You never wanted me. You made the decision when my mother was dying. Damn, that sounds right. The demon told him, Now you have to make a decision. One girl dies and another survives. And if the decision not made, both girls will die. Victor said that he wouldn't make a choice. What a fate. Suddenly, the father entered and began the exorcism process by commanding it to depart in the name of Jesus and his holy sacrifice for everyone's sake. But it didn't last long. The demon twisted the father's neck and killed him. Then Tony shouted and said, I choose you, Catherine! Victor hurriedly grabbed his wife's scarf and fastened it around Angela's neck. Things began to worsen and the place became chaotic. It seems that the devil's plan is to take Angela's soul and leave Catherine. What a terrifying thing! Angela's heart stopped and she fell to the ground while Catherine survived. What a poor! That's all Victor has. And now it's gone forever. Unexpectedly, Catherine's heart stopped beating as well. What's going on? As if the devil chose Catherine. Victor can only recall his most beautiful moments with his daughter. Thankfully, Angela is back to life, why Catherine didn't awaken. They attempted to revive her, but it looks like her candle will not be lit again. Angela and her father returned to their regular routines, and the young family was reunited. See you in the next video.